<laughs> while some whiz kids at a local high school are using their smarts to help others with special needs. The Lakota East students have designed a board game that doesn't have any pieces. And Jeanette Levy introduces us to the girls in a story that you'll see only on Local 12. Uh, Queen, do you hear that? He's going to win. Uh-uh. He's going to win. <laughs> Me. For the first time, some students at Lakota East High School are putting a new game they've designed to the test. So this is our engineering capstone project, and we're making a game board for these students in our school. Seniors Grace Silverberg and Mackenzie Novian handled the technical part of the board game, engineering and computer coding. I'm adding the zero to make the delay longer. The game is for special needs students who have limited use of their hands. Those are just simple arcade buttons from Amazon. We had to solder on the wires ourselves and like cut them. Lisa Beely and Logan Fox did all of the artwork. We painted everything by hand and then also we 3D printed the stuff for our second board which is our four player game so we have two. Somebody came up with the C idea and we just kind of ran with it. Four, hit the blue one. Oh, uh oh, Austin's winning. Big number. Austin and Queen tried out the game first Austin. and gave it a passing grade. Then it was Tyler Holiday's turn. Now hit the red one there. Oh, you're in the lead. Hitting the button activates LED lights, which act as game pieces, which move the player down the board. No pieces necessary is a necessity. A lot of students that we do work with, they're, they, they can't grasp things or they can't, you know, move it on their own or they don't understand the concept of that. With this, they can hit a button and watch the pieces move on their own. There you go. Good job, Tyler. Working on the board game hasn't always been easy. That's how you engineer anything. You just fail many, many times and end up with a final product that we like. But today's successful <laughs> test run made all of the failures Sorry, worth it. It kind of felt like butterflies in my stomach, like actually getting to see people play the game. Oh, look at that. Seeing how our hard work paid off. Well. This might not be the last time you see this board game. The students are thinking about applying for a provisional patent so the game can be mass marketed for kids with special needs in the future. In Liberty Township, Anjanette Levy, Local 12 News. Wow, the game the students tested today was for two players. They've also designed one for four players. They're entering it in a competition next month.